Hi all, hi IT lovers. Welcome to my Trilingual ECDL e-learning tutorials. Again, a quick reminder before we start. It's a pleasure for me to share my uh, free IT camp online. But if you want it private, which might cost you a little bit, you can subscribe to my homepage, fill the form indicating your preference so we can start as soon as possible. Of course, I proposed other services and got some online stores. When you visit my homepage, you will find all that. Just click on the website link below in the description of this video. Now back to image editing with GIMP app and the exercise files in German by uh, easyforme.at. There you can go and download the files if you want to follow along. Of course, as you know it, I will give you all an easy English and French translation of the questions, but I just do the keywords translation again. Today it's number four, part four. Our tutorial is uh, the continuation of our file called demo test containing 32 questions. Now we're going to do the number 18, 19 and 20. Come on, let's do it. Okay, now back to our fave demo <laughs> for now. Now uh, let's scroll uh, straight to our question number 18, 19 and uh, 20. Okay, here again we uh, translate the three questions at once. We have seven lines to read, but I'll cut them in two and you will still understand uh, the job. Let's start in German first. Setzen Sie die Vordergrundfarbe auf Gelb. Füllen Sie die weiße Hintergrundebene mit der Vordergrundfarbe. Wenden Sie einen Linearverlauf WG zum HG und unterem zum oberen Rande des Bildes an. Fügen Sie eine neue Ebene ein mit dem Text Recycling Pyramide Schriftart. Arial, 24 Punkte und Farbe ihrer Wahl. Okay, now the keywords uh, in English for the questions uh, 18, 19 and 20. Set the foreground color to yellow. Fill the white background layer with the foreground color. Apply a linear gradient FG to BG and bottom to the top of the image. Insert a new layer with the text Recycling Pyramide, font Arial, 24 point and your choice color. Alors, les mots clés euh, des questions 18, 19, 20 en français maintenant, ça donne euh, définissez la couleur euh, de premier plan à jaune, remplissez le calque euh, d'arrière plan blanc avec la couleur du premier plan. Appliquez un dégradé linéaire PP, donc premier plan, euh, au AP, arrière-plan, et du bas vers le haut de l'image. Insérez un nouveau calque avec euh, le texte euh, Recycling euh, euh, Pyramide, Arial 24 points et couleur de votre choix. All right, in short, this is what we have to do. Now, let's go to the practice file. Okay, here we switch back to our layer this one this is where we stopped last time i hope you remember it okay now what we have to do is to go right here by uh, the color gallery and we click right now we have it uh, you know uh, standard and we want a yellow so we shoot yellow you can shoot it from here but me, I have already the yellow, the proper yellow here. So I hit OK. And uh, now we have yellow here. And now we have to go to the background color, which is this one already selected. And we have to fill it with the yellow. So, OK, by the way, if it's easier for you, you can always remove the eyes so you see only the, the background color like this. Okay, and uh, because we already have this tool uh, highlighted, we're good. All we have to do is to go by uh, tab edit, bearbeiten, 
and choose meat for the green farbe filling and then it's going to be yellow voila okay uh we're good this one is really really yellow okay now if i put the eye again this is what happened okay now we have uh, to switch to the other tool which is also here inside and we have to uh, press G so we can change it now we have the gradient uh, filler and here we want to choose uh, let me click in here and here the yellow we want is going to be a vegana hage RGB foreground color to a uh, background color huh? here in German begin a hage we choose this one and of course uh, we make sure that uh, it's linear huh? and now when we go we have to uh, move it from uh, bottom to top as I said so this is what I'm doing right now hopefully something's gonna happen <laughs> my computer is low but it's gonna happen eventually okay so i think it's good like this and then enter we're good this is our gradient color our last thing to do is to create a new uh, layer this is where we go down here i hope you can see let me make it a little bit uh, like this so you can see better here i don't know you're even this is how we add a new layer and ne like uh, Neue Ebene <laughs> and we hit OK and uh, this one in this one we have to uh, insert the text but let me uh, scale it down like this then we go here by uh, text uh, tool we click in it and now we can uh, insert our text uh, it's big eh? Let me make it a little like this okay and we write inside uh, first of all I'm going to choose this area as I said oh it's already 24 here that's fine for me and here I want an uh, area either you choose it here or uh, you can uh, just go and choose it here area you see you type uh, AR or you just find it here in the gallery so it happens also here now all we have to do is to start typing recycling pyramid oh of course you have to change the color if you want to write it in yellow it's not going to be good so let me choose the uh, black i'm just going to stay black here and i type recycling and as you're typing you can always see down here by the statues that uh, what you are typing Okay, so you can see down here uh, recycling pyramid eh? and now we are going to uh, move the layer so we can see the text So we are moving it up And now we can see the text. Okay, you can see it down here by the status or you just uh, Scale up or down your layer so you can see the text Okay Oh, by the way here it's a uh, it's uppercase for the p let me go back here <laughs> this is when you see okay uh, this is what we want mm -hmm. and now of course if you want to move uh, your text you can always uh, you know go back to this moving tool huh? and uh, you make sure you choose the right layer and then you can move your text you know as you wish i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it right here okay and they didn't ask us to maybe they are going to ask us uh, next question but from uh, now on i'm going to remove uh, this uh, yellow border i'm gonna even it off build closer okay so we have our text okay of course you can also go straight to the tool text and uh, just place your text and it will create also automatically 
uh, a new layer but i wanted to show you also how uh, you can uh, go get a new layer here on this panel okay we're good uh, for now and uh, the rest is coming next if god's willing I hope uh, you could learn uh, something new or I could refresh your memory with something you forgot about. We are done with the three questions for today. And uh, next time, if God's willing, it's going to be question 21, 22, 23, and maybe even 24, uh, depending on, uh, you know, depending on uh, <laughs> my agenda. <laughs> All right. You all, thank you for watching and uh, God bless you. Bye-bye.